Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Uh, we're on the pasture right behind where the sheep were just taken off of. This is actually an eastern gamma grass field that's got some fescue in it. Uh, what I'm showing you here today, uh, this is actually the uh, Mighty Dung Beetle. Um, this is a, a pile of sheep poo, okay? And they were here about uh, three days ago. And look at the dirt. See, that's all dirt that was mined. There's a hole under there, and I'm not going to disturb it. I'm not going to pull that back. I have in the past, but there's actually a baby dung beetle uh, larvae in a round ball of poo down in a hole here. And the hole is about the diameter of that nickel you see right here. And, uh, you know, if I wanted to disturb this, which I'm not going to, I could pull that back, and you'd, you'd see the hole going down on the ground. Uh, I've run a small stick down on the holes before, and they actually go down about 14 inches. And there's other holes coming off the main chamber. Well, at the bottom of each one of those holes is a nice round turd that they have rolled up in this beautiful little ball, and there's a baby larvae dung beetle in there. When he hatches out, that's what he eats is the, uh, the poop until he comes back up. And life cycle started again. He starts his family. But isn't this cool? This is on sheep poo. We're seeing it in the cattle too. Uh, we don't, of course, we don't worm. And so if you don't worm your animals and you let them build up resistance and you don't kill all your dung beetles, all this dung is recycled back in the soil, complements of Mother Nature and her beautiful dung beetles. I saw the dung beetle. Uh, there was another pile here behind me. I saw it take off. And it was about the diameter of that nickel right there. He had a beautiful red, scarlet kind of back. And he had some green on his head and he had these beautiful little yellow antennas sticking off of his head. And when he took off, he sounded like a jet. I mean, this thing has a, they're powerful flyers. And dung beetles find their food by smell. So they're flying along and they smell it and they hone in on it. Isn't that beautiful? I get excited about poo, especially when something's digging in it digging a hole aerating my soil for me and fertilizing it at the same time i mean that's awesome how, how cool can that be and we're not we're not doing anything to the animals if we were you know pour, pouring any kind of petroleum product on them we wouldn't be seeing this beautiful thing happen folks this is greg judy signing off and i hope every one of y'all someday can find these dung beetles in your pastures because they will grow you more grass it is regenerative and we're building topsoil have a good one